Four private astronauts are headed to the International Space Station after lifting off on a SpaceX rocket at 2.31 a.m. Eastern Time. But this mission is different because Axiom is building its own private orbiting space station. NBC's Tom Costello has more. Ignition and lift down. Roaring off the same launch pad that sent Apollo astronauts to the moon, the Axiom 4 crew on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket early this morning. The three nations, a new chapter in space takes flight. Godspeed, AX4. The launch delayed by a week due to what NASA described as a leak that needed to be addressed on the space station's Russian module. The Axiom 4 astronauts include former NASA chief astronaut Peggy Whitson and three new astronauts from India, Poland, and Hungary. But Whitson is a space rock star. Good morning to you as well. Already holding the American record for the most cumulative time in space, 675 days. Commander of the space station twice with 10 spacewalks under her belt. Having seen Earth from the space shuttle, a Soyuz spaceship, a SpaceX Dragon, and the station. You never say never. I left NASA not ever expecting to fly in space again. And here, commercial space industry and Axiom Space has allowed me that opportunity uh, in just a few years from my retirement from NASA. So things are changing very quickly in space. Very quickly. This two-week mission will focus on 60 scientific studies from around the world. But this is Axiom's ultimate goal, to build the first commercial space station dedicated to making medical and science breakthroughs in microgravity. The Axiom station will start by attaching a module to the ISS as soon as late in 2026, then eventually separating and floating free on its own, a sort of floating science lab for the world. Tom Costello reporting. Axiom will have to detach from the International Space Station quickly. The plan is to retire and deorbit the ISS by the end of 2030. And SpaceX is already working on the spaceship that will bring it down.